This is it. You're looking at it. It's official. Finally, I found the worst pair of compasses I have ever come across. And that's in about 45 years of observation time, including my childhood. Some of it. Yes, I'm very old. So in this video I'll share with you what three design features make this pair of compasses the absolute worst piece of math equipment I have ever come across and why you should lower your expectations significantly when you send your child to math class with this piece of trash. Let's start at the beginning and let's have a look at the features of this pair of compasses here. It's made of black PVC. It's lightweight. That's good, right? The compass here, this compass like features a steel compass point that's quite sharp. That's good. This compass point here is quite possibly, although I don't have x-ray eyes, it's firmly attached to the compass leg. Possibly friction fit, but my feel is that it's probably cast in place and this compass point ends in a nail head and is cast in with the PVC when this whole thing is made together. But that's good that if, it, if it's solid, although it doesn't make it replaceable. On this compass leg there's a ring that's large enough to accommodate a standard size pencil. That's nice. And there's a large enough knob here to clamp down on the pencil. That's good. The edge of the knob is serrated and there you can see the serrations. That helps in traction or grip to clamp down the pencil. The design is such that the pencil is actually held in place quite securely by that single knob. That's good. So, over here on this side, finally, there is a screw that goes through and holds the compass legs together goes through to that nut and the knob here or this little stem where the compass is gripped usually is neatly textured or serrated to assist with grip. Nice! So what's wrong with this thing? Very simply it doesn't draw a circle. Nothing else is wrong with it. So let me explain. First things first. With this design and not just this particular model, where a whole pencil here can be clamped into a compass leg. If the pencil is this long, you cannot possibly draw a full circle with it. It's going to hit your fingers somewhere, possibly at two spots, like so. Okay, I have big fingers, but the same happens with children too. And it hits my thumb there, and maybe the middle finger or ring finger there. So you can't draw a full circle even with changing direction, you're going to have to re-grip and reposition in order to complete the rest of the circle. Okay, something like that. And re-gripping and repositioning, children usually don't have the manual dexterity to do this without making a miserable circle. So, just by contrast, over here on this design here, you can see that the pencil is not sticking out from it because it has a short piece of graphite. Yes, it's not made out of lead. This is graphite. Uh, carboni carboniferous material made of some form of carbon. There you can see it's about this long in this case. And because it's a short piece of graphite, you can make a full circle with this thing easily in endless circles like so. Such is not the case with this miserable design. Now, it's fairly easy to bypass or solve this situation. This pencil needs to be about this short or shorter. So that if it's below about this height, then it's not going to hit your fingers. However, most school teachers don't bother telling the children why make life easier, eh? So, so that's problem number one. But it, its solution is fairly straightforward or or fairly uh, easy to accomplish. However, problem number two, like I said, it just doesn't draw a circle. So let me show you what it actually does. So let's poke the paper somewhere there. And I'm going with light pressure on the paper, like, oopsie, like so. And I'm trying to draw the circle there. I have drawn about half a circle or so. And let me show you how it looks like. And, uh, and I'm not making this one up. This is actually how this comes out. 
you can see what happens. I have to have my fingers in it because the camera can't just focus on nearly featureless sheet of paper. You can see what happens to this circle. This is not a circle. It's not even close. Uh, even if, even for a potato it's a bad shape. So you can't possibly draw a circle with this piece of trash. And the reason for it very simply is it needs a screwdriver. It needs a screwdriver to tighten this clamp bolt here that clamps the legs together. Let me just show you the the compass legs there together in order to hold a constant radius. So let's do that. The resolution seems to be quite simple even though no school teacher carries a screwdriver whatsoever to math class. That's completely unheard of. And manufacturers of course again don't tell the users that besides having a short enough pencil to make a circle effortlessly you also should pay attention to tightening that bolt periodically all right so take two let's try to make another circle again this time say somewhere here nice let's make a small circle something like that all right let's see how this goes nice so far so good so far so good okay regrip because the pencil is still too long nice how about that that looks like a flawless circle except it's not very circular I don't know if you can tell that this part here is bulging out and and where I overlapped the lines there it's, this bulging part also becomes uh, more obvious here depending on depending on how much lean angle I give this compass and this happens see if it, if I give it a bigger lean angle it does this and I haven't changed the I'm gonna poke it in the middle the same spot there I did not make the circle any bigger if I keep the if I keep the compass leg upright it's going to redraw the original circle just a little more circular-ish shape okay now let's take a look at it this is the new line on the outside that was made when it's not leaning over and this is the line on the outside that it does when it's leaning over with those extra humps on it so what's happening here no I'm not making this one up this is caused by the compass because the soft PVC legs bend this much easily so when you give it a little lean and go sideways and and push down onto the paper push it into the paper a little bit it's going to flex sideways however slightly and that's enough to make a miserable circle so if you don't exactly hold this thing vertical then it's not really making a circle good luck explaining that and expecting that from a school child to maintain a steady hand position while trying to pay attention to the teacher and concentrating on the actual task that's being drawn so these three factors the pencil length issue the screwdriver issue and the rubbery leg issue that all three of them in combination make it the absolute worst design that's out there so as a result if you send your child to school and expect him or her to do well in mathematics that's why you have to lower your expectations really really significantly just by contrast the compass here that I used actually comes with metal legs that do not bend and they are extremely stiff as well as they hold a constant radius with this wheel in the middle this is how decent compasses look like you can open it and you can close it it works fairly simply and it draws the same kind of circle and the same size of circle whether it's upright like so or whether you I'm just gonna go another circle I don't know somewhere here and maybe smaller or whether you lean it over quite a bit there those are actually nice circles that are drawn with almost 
almost even graphite pressure on the paper. It's a little bit heavier here, but now we're splitting hairs. However, the ends of the circle here actually join together, and such is the case over here. So those are the three factors that make this compass the absolute worst, and you can't really do mathematics with this. This costs about a dollar, and an untold amount of misery in class. This costs about 10, 12, maybe 15 dollars, and is actually productive. The choice is yours.